Making tracks on Mars, the Perseverance rover went for a spin two weeks after landing on the Red Planet. This is just a huge milestone for the mission and the mobility team. Like We've driven on Earth, but driving on Mars is really the ultimate goal. And just so many people I can't even count have worked towards this very moment for years. It wasn't a long trip, just over six meters in total. Nor was it a fast drive. The whole exercise took 30 minutes at almost 0.02 kilometers per hour. But so far, Perseverance is working perfectly. Um, we haven't had any hardware uh, issues. No, everything has been working that we've been checking out. Um, and, and so it's, it's actually been amazingly smooth uh, in, in that respect. I'm going to knock on wood here. In this picture of a rock formation near the landing site, you can clearly see stratification or layers of rock. They may be made of sediment washed down billions of years ago when Mars was rich with surface water. These resistant layered rocks were likely deposited by rivers flowing into the ancient Lake Jezero. And Perseverance has been flexing its robotic arms with instruments named Sherlock and Watson, mechanical detectives searching for signs of ancient life. Within weeks, the rover will deploy its mini helicopter, Ingenuity, for a test flight. Scientists have named the landing area in honor of the late Octavia Butler, a novelist who was the first African-American woman to win top prizes in science fiction and a MacArthur Fellowship for her books, including Parable of the Sower. With the help of a spacecraft orbiting Mars, scientists are plotting possible routes for perseverance to reach its goal, an ancient river delta that may hold signs of long-extinct microbial life forms. If found, such signs would be evidence that life, perhaps even intelligent life, exists in abundance beyond Earth throughout the vastness of space. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.